guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah! Oh, I'm so crusty and dusty. Oh my god, I look gross. And I'm so dusty. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lizzie Worst. Today is the day. I am so, ah! I'm so excited. So I'm about to go pick up my brand new jet ski. So I went on it one time already, so I could get the feel of it and I went and got it wrapped so I'm going to show you some footage what it was before and then I'll show you what it is now and I am just so excited I am so excited to go pick up this beautiful jet ski and I'm going to record me going on it for the second time but the excitement still feels like the first sorry I look gross um I'm currently on some acne medicine that has caused me to break out even more and I'm trying to let my skin breathe I guess I could have put on some mascara but, but I really don't care I really don't care I have to go to the store right now to grab some extra SD cards just so I know I'm good I'm gonna go to Target first and hopefully they have everything because if not I'm gonna have to go to Walmart and I already went to Best Buy once a day and forgot the SD cards so I hope my fingers are crossed that everywhere else has them guys it is chub rum season they only had three left, so I grabbed them. And now I'm just going to grab a few beach towels. I'm gonna grab that one and that one. I am waiting outside for it. It's behind this door. The lighting's so ass, but I'm gonna record my reaction and my boyfriend's going to record the garage. I'm being so hype about this, but I don't care. I don't get new things a lot. So this is like fun to me. So this is the color of my car. That's exactly what I tried doing with the ski. The lighting is so hard to like show you guys. <laughs> my boyfriend trying to run out of frame, but okay. <laughs> so you guys saw that this ski used to be gold. So this seat looked really, really good with the gold, but the interior of my car, let me show you real fast, is this beautiful red color. And that's the color I want to make my seat. I think that'll look gorgeous. And then I'm not going to rush this. Uh, I think in the winter time, I'm going to make all the trek. I think that's what it's called. Um, the flooring <laughs> black. Or if I can find a gray and black that's similar to this color. All right, let's go put her in the water. I'm here at the dock where I'm going to be putting in the jet ski. And that boat right there is my boyfriend's dad's boat. And this is my boyfriend's boat. I was going to show you his old boat, but it's gone. They already took it out of here. It's still his, but just took it to his property. Just look how pretty she is. You can't tell me she's not pretty. Look at my car and they're like, ah, it just looks so freaking good. So let me get on it and do a little tour for you guys. But first, just look at the back. I love how much sitting room there is and the little step up in case you're like in the water and want to get back on it. But first, before I get on it, you can open this. That's where I get my gas. And then I have my life jacket, fire extinguisher somewhere in here. Oh, it's in this little tube thingy. And then, and then this has like a whistle, extra rope. I already have rope. So I have all that storage space. Yeah, I just put a friggin' handprint on it already. And then this is also very nice. It has storage that wraps all the way around to The other side and on this side you open this i gotta get my cord and you can plug in your phone yes the phone will charge too and it's a dry pocket so my phone will not get wet even if this thing decided to 
Oh, but not. It comes with two different keys as well. This is a slow key. It only tops out at 35 when you have this key in, I believe. I'd probably use this if I were to let like a kid use this ski, which I won't be. And then the black one is the fast key. And then the little emergency stop that goes behind this stop button. If I were to fall off of this for whatever reason, that whole thing will come with me and it'll shut the ski right off. And you actually can't start the jet ski if you don't have that piece in. So you plug the key in right there. The screen pops up. I just click the little knob for it to say okay. And then we're here. I get to see how fast I'm going. I have an hour on it already. I need nine more and then I have to go take it to be serviced and I should be able to go a little bit faster. And I heard there's a debt finder on here. I just have to find it. There's so many different settings and yes, there is a camera. Um, it takes a second to come on, but look at that. A whole back camera for what? Good question, because I don't know. The back camera is nice if you have somebody on a tube or something, or I guess you just want to see what's behind you. We have audio, which are these four speakers. I can play my music and turn it up pretty loud. Just use this little knob. I hold this down and my phone will automatically connect now. When I first tried to connect, it was a disaster. And then waypoint. Is this the depth finder? This might, I don't think it's the depth finder. I guess this is just like compass. I don't know. I feel like this is where the depth finder would be if it had one. Um, the vehicle information's pretty cool. Um, and then settings, display, and then all this stuff. It has a friggin' cruise control. This thing is amazing. And then I love this too, because if I want to stand, the handlebars adjust. So this is nice if I want to stand and ride. And then if I just want to sit and relax, this is very hard to do with one hand. You just pull her down. I don't know why it looks so scratched up. That is very, very annoying. I wonder if it can't be for my watch. I don't know, maybe it'll buff out. She looks white in some lighting, trying to focus on me. But there she is, my brand new 2023 Kawasaki Ultra 310 LX. A long ass name, I know. If you have me on Snapchat, you know that I've been posting that I'm getting a new toy. And here she is, so I will be posting a little bit on there. If you don't follow me on any of my other socials, they're on the screen, just make sure you follow me. I'm going to be so much more active, I promise. I'm super excited to get more content. But backstory on the jet ski. So I've actually been looking for this ski for over a year now. I found a 2022 version, but I heard that the 2023 was coming out in October. So I was like, I'm not gonna rush it and get the 2022 when there's only one month of summer left. I might as well just wait. Yeah, I could have rode it in September a little bit, but then a month later, the brand new one would have been coming out. And I would have been mad at myself for just jumping the gun and buying that. So I didn't do an impulsive buy and I actually waited and I'm very happy I did because I'm happy with my purchase. Back in March, I was calling around trying to find this jet ski. I was like, I should have been calling around way before now. They're probably all gone. I found a place. I put a deposit down on one because they said they were supposed to get one in March. They were supposed to get one in April. They were supposed to get one in May. They said I was the only person that had a deposit down on one. So I'll be the first one to get a ski whenever it comes in. So I put the deposit down and then left. Two, three weeks roll around. I call and I'm like, hey, did you guys hear anything about the jet skis? Summer's creeping up kind of fast, not to be pushy. I just, I'm impatient. <laughs> and they're like, no, we haven't received anything, but once we receive the call, the ski will be here in a week from then. So my impatient ass decides to call around and the first place I call had one in stock ready for pickup that day. Well, I drove an hour away, went, put a deposit down on that ski. Something was going on. I went too late in the day. Something was going on with the bank, so I had to pick it up the next day, but I was able to get it like that. So that same day that I went to pick up my jet ski, the other place calls me to tell me that my jet ski is on its way. I felt bad because I was just so impatient, but at the same time, like, that's just my luck. If I decided to wait, I probably still wouldn't have the ski just because that's my luck. Like they wouldn't have got it for some reason. So I got my deposit back from them and now we're here. So earlier today I went to Best Buy. I didn't record this, I should have, but I bought a new GoPro, the new GoPro Max. And I just realized I don't have a suction cup Thing. I bought so many different accessories at Best Buy today, but I don't have a suction cup. I have a 360 lens that goes over top of this, so it should like pop out in front of me and do a whole wrap around. I've never used this yet, but once I have my life jacket on, look at her go.
Yeah, she does. <laughs> I got no rope ready. Nothing. No. My boyfriend is taking his boat out now, and then you guys can watch me take my ski out. I can't you sleep with it all, you gon' be my, my lover, my. This GoPro, my jet ski, is completely beached, so I'm not going anywhere for at least an hour or two. But look at all the boats out here. Oh, and we're right near an airport. Hi, Dini girl. Are you a sweet? Oh, you wanna smell it? What do I got? Okay, bye. She's a sweetheart. She's always out here. <laughs> Currently in my boyfriend's hoodie because I'm fucking freezing. It is cold today. I didn't really get to film much today at all because the water was so freaking choppy. And I didn't know what to do. It was like my GoPro. I felt like I was going to lose it. Even though it was hooked to me, it just didn't feel super secure. So I didn't like it. But I had a really, really great time. If you guys want to see more jet ski footage, please let me know because I will definitely film a lot. That's what I'm going to be doing almost every Sunday this summer. So if you want to see more footage, I promise you I can get you more. If you guys do want to see some more footage of me out on the jet ski, I will go to an area where I can definitely use my drone because where we go, we're too close to the Philadelphia airport, so I'm not able to use my drone. There's the legal restrictions, you're not allowed to fly a drone that close to an airport. But like I said, if you guys do want to see some more of that, let me know. Anything else you guys want to see, please let me know. Please, I'm really trying to get back into YouTube, so please just comment down below what you want to see. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking around and doing everything you do for me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.